What's up guys, we're coming at you from San Diego today. We're out here visiting Devin's mom. Just got a hike in Mount Woodson up to Potato Chip Rock. I'm gonna throw some of that footage in here. But uh, we're actually gonna do some fishing while we're out here. I just wanna throw in some of the footage from the new camera. This is the A6400 by Sony. So if you guys are liking some of the slow motion, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious if you like this buttery smooth B-roll like John B throws in or if you just like the regular old stuff I usually do. So pick up a rod at Walmart or something. Actually, Jeff's got some spare rods we might be able to borrow. Today we actually had a full day's charter booked at a Newport Beach. We were going to go fishing off Catalina Island and we got about 45 minutes out. A group of at least 30, 30 plus on this boat. Everyone looked real serious too. Half of them brought their own gear. It was going to be a good day of fishing. We got about 45 minutes out though and we had to turn around because the, uh, the waters were just crazy, man. We didn't get to do the deep sea fishing but that's okay we're gonna do plenty of bank fishing or maybe even take one of these little rental boats from this lake out here so we're gonna get things started off I'll see you guys whenever we hit the first lake also if you guys are curious about any of the specs on the new Sony we just picked up I'm gonna leave all this stuff linked down in the description below because we just picked up also a new Sigma art lens for it it's a 16 millimeter 1.4 I'm shooting at 1.4 right now so it might be a little bright but we looked into the Sony and kind of made the switch because it shoots in 1080p at 120 frames a second you guys do want to check out the camera and lens again we're just gonna put the information on it down in the description for you guys. We're at Carlsbad Lagoon. Gonna do a little bit of fishing right out here on the ocean side. We're gonna be doing some inshore stuff. We got a couple travel rods and we got uh, some two-piece rods, some lightweight reels and lightweight tackle. We're gonna be throwing some blood worms that we got from the bait and tackle store right up the street, Pacific, I think it's Pacific Coast bait and tackle. And uh, we're gonna have a good old time. So I just wanna let you know where we're at, what we're doing. And we're gonna, we got about, I think it's 648. 648, so we got about an hour before sunset. We're gonna have at it. Okay, so here's what we're working with. A bloodworm from the local bait and tackle shop. Drop shot it with a probably one ounce weight, something like that. Corrado K bait caster because it's saltwater approved, I suppose. And then this uh, collapsible spinning rod that we're going to make for casting today. I got a bite. Oh! I got a... She's got one. That was fast. I He's fighting, huh? Look at her rod. Got a little. <laughs> Come here, little man. <laughs> I was like, I have him, nice. I have him. Devin's in the lead one to nothing. Time to cast back out there. Oh, got one. Oh, God. I don't know what it is. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> He was right up here because I was like kind of reeling it in and he wasn't even that far out. Really? But he took it! About 45 minutes out here you guys and we uh, we caught two but I think we're going to call it. We cast it out a few more times. It is just cold and windy and uh, we we proved that the Corrado works in salt water. This thing was uh, sent to us for free by Placino. I think it's like a $30 setup but it actually comes with its own reel which we brought and that's what you caught yours on. Yeah. Devin's using the reel that came with this rod, but uh, we put that reel on another rod and I decided to use the travel one with the bait caster. Are locked and loaded and ready to go. Look at that sucker right there. That's pretty sweet. Devin's mom's freaking out because she's reeling in seaweed. No, that was actually the first ever catch on the Corrado K in salt water. So that was pretty sweet. Whoop. Standing on these rocks is a little tricky. Oh, two fish in about an hour. And uh, that'll wrap up the little second outing to Carlsbad Lagoon. All right, y'all, it's our last day in California. We're over here fishing Lake Poway today. We just got the boat rental taken care of and two permits, fishing licenses essentially, for the uh, day for Devin and I, about $44. We're gonna hop over here, grab the boat, and uh, we only brought one casting reel. We brought the Corrado K and we brought two spinning setups, and we've got some rods and different baits to throw we've got we're kind of limited we just went to walmart and grabbed some stuff for wacky rigs and flukes a couple things will be thrown out here but we're gonna go ahead and get to it because we don't have a whole lot of time on the water before we got to hit the airport and get back to dfw so let's get this thing started i'll holler at you at the boat see ya all 
All right, starting off with the fluke. See how this goes. Whoop. Oh, backlash. This rod is very soft. I have to put this thing on max brakes. I forget I'm not using a seven foot two medium heavy. Just getting started on Lake Poway. We started over there where you grabbed the boat and figured we'd just come hit the bank on the opposite side first. Started raining on us right away. So I don't know what's going on. When it's down there, popping on the bottom, it probably looks pretty good. Do 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 do. Two. Here we go. Zeke always gets all the screen time despite Otis and Gino, they're probably just asleep. It's kind of a bummer that the charter had to turn around. We, we actually got that rebooked for August though. We're gonna go back and visit you guys in San Diego, so be on the lookout for us. Maybe we can do some fishing off the banks whenever we're back. But uh, yeah, we had the whole 12 hour deal booked out to Catalina Island and the waters were just going crazy. So they had to flip a quick Yui. It seemed like a lot of other boats that were out were saying that closer to the island, it just got worse and worse. So we ended up just going and hiking Mount Woodson that day and had a bunch of fun doing that hike up to the potato chip rock. And then we decided to hit up the Carlsbad Lagoon, Pacific Coast bait and tackle, always hooking us up with the best baits for the location. And then we decided to hit Lake Poway on the last day because uh, Monday and Tuesday, you're not allowed to fish at Lake Poway. So on Wednesday morning, before we hit in the airport, we went ahead and tried Lake Poway for a little bit. We did a little boat rental thing. It's kind of a challenge fishing off the boat, not necessarily what we're used to. It was a little windy that day. It started off just raining on us, so we gave it the once over. And then we went back to some bank fishing and I fished off the dock and nothing but like gigantic fish below this thing. It was absolutely nuts. I couldn't link up with any, unfortunately. We had limited time. And uh, so that's why we didn't only catch but a couple fish in this video, but we have plenty more San Diego videos in the works near future. It feels good getting back here and using your regular setups, man. All these favorite rods that are like seven, seven, six heavy and medium heavy. Travel stuff is, uh, it gets the job done, but the rods are a little flimsy. And with that, I just wanted to remind you guys that Favorite Rods is actually doing a 20% off sale through Father's Day at all their major retailers, Academy, Dick Sporting Goods, Field and Stream, Shields, or you know you can always go online and get 20% off with our code Weston20. But if you need something same day, go ahead and head on over to those stores, grab one for Pops, get one for you, maybe get five, six, seven, the whole family might want to fish, who knows? Till the next one, guys, see ya. <gasps>